Welcome on board the Oceanis Yacht 54 here in Grisan. The 54 is the latest addition to the luxury cruiser segment, which delivers sturdy and stylish yachts able to sail long distances safely and comfortably. She embodies the innovation that has always been a hallmark of the Benetton brand, while continuing to remain loyal to the yacht range ethos. Elegance, luxurious accommodation, and unrevealed performance. Let's start with a few areas of comfort. The Oceanis yacht is dedicated to cruising, so it's important to provide large areas in which to unwind and relax. This generously proportionate swimming platform is a good example of this. Having an easy to use sender stowage is the key feature on this type of boat. That's the reason why we have designed this longitudinal dinghy garage. It's easy to operate and can accommodate a dinghy up to 2.4 long, fully inflated. Our customers spend 70% of their time outside when they are sailing. Therefore, a carefully designed cockpit layout is the key for a great sailing experience. On this new boat, we have decided to reinvent the central cockpit. This very traditional type of cockpit has a great advantage, the safety. As you can see here, we have a single level cockpit floor, which is uh, directly connected to the side decks. Then we have two steps for a gentle access to the foredeck. It is very safe when sailing because the lifeline is high all the way to the mast and makes you feel secure. We have also worked on the division of the space according to use. There is no mixed space with the winch and the sun lounger in the same place. The maneuvers and the station are aft. There is a dining space around the cockpit tables that can be lowered down in order to create more lounging area. Finally, there is an extra relaxation space with two large sun loungers on either side of the companionway. A large bimini top covering the entire cockpit and helm station is also available on option. With inbuilt lighting, all stainless steel deck hardware, tubes of a larger diameter, side awnings, and also a full closure option for cooler region. The design of the helm station is crucial. You have control of the boat from here without disturbing the people in the cockpit. The console are fitted with a grab rail and all the electronics are at your fingertips with the autopilot and the 12 inches screen just here. The ship control, dock and go and arc and IST controller also are located at the console. Last of all, to complete the centralized controls, all the winches are located at the helm station. They are ideally placed for you standing or seated, but also by a crewman from the side deck. Regarding the sail plan, we asked Roberto Biscontini to develop two different versions in order to satisfy our customer expectation as best we can. As standard, we have an in-mast forling system with a self-tacking jib for ease of use. This sail configuration requires only one winch each helm station. Then, gradually, we power up with optional overlapping Genoa on tracks and full buttons mainsail. The foredeck also boasts a relaxing area with this large sunbed. A large edge, 60 by 60 centimeters, provides access to the sail locker. The locker can also be converted into a skipper cabin, with the berth is two meter long. There is also a unit with wash basin, mirror, a toilet and a shower. A large storage space is to be found under the bed. The interiors are designed by Lorenzo Argento. His experience in designing super yachts can be seen in the optimization of the space, the ergonomics and the blend of materials. A lot of attention has been brought to the material used. Molded wood fiddle, white lacquer bucket and wood floorboard, for example. The spaces are bright thanks to the large portals, the roof, windows and the hatches. Now we are in a spacious U-shaped saloon with a large table that can easily seat up to six people. Great attention has been paid to indirect lighting. The large hull portholes bring in lots of natural light and mean you can enjoy the view outside even where you are seated. Just enter on port side, you will find a C-shaped marine galley. The return along the boat axis, uh, the high fiddles and the grab rail in front of the current make it very functional, let's see. The char table is the ideal owner's corner. We felt it was important to develop this area of the boat. 
We are in the master cabin, the owner quarter, let's say. As for the rest of the boat, we paid a lot of attention with the natural light and indirect lighting, storage and the quality of material. The space in front of the bed is comfortable enough so that you can move around. The bed is 1.6 meter wide by 2.05 meter long, with comfortable access on either side. Similar to the saloon, the forward cabin is bathed in natural light. The large hull portals mean you can look out from a seated position on the bed. This cabin has a starboard side and suit washroom and in ends an independent shower on the port side. In the aft area, you have two beautiful aft cabins of similar size behind the companionway in order to accommodate your guests. They are both very bright with a large hull porthole and port lights to provide ventilation. The port cabin has a double door hanging locker in order to accommodate an optional washing machine. The starboard cabin has a direct access to the aft washroom. The access door from the saloon provides the use as daily head when sailing. The three cabin three head version available for this model as an in-suite washroom for both aft cabins. Last but not least, the technical installation. The boat engine is an 80 horsepower sail drive. There is also an option for a 110 HP shaft drive. The 80 horsepower engine can be fitted with the dock and go system. The Oceanis Yacht 54 paves the way for a new generation of cruiser by completely reinventing the traditional central cockpit into a space that allows for free-flowing movement, ample seating areas and safety throughout. The yacht features Catinet technologies such as Ship Control, Dock and Go and Arc and AST, firmly set Beneteau at the vanguard of the industry and meets passionate sailors' high level of expectations.